Are you a plus size traveler looking to take a new trip this fall? Well, let's check out Hollywood's Tower of Terror. Welcome to Fat Test to Travel. This is Jason Vaughn. I travel all over the world fat testing rides so you can know what you can fit on. Currently, I am 345 pounds with a 52 inch waist and I am 5 foot 8 inches tall. The Hollywood Tower of Terror Hotel is one of the most terrifying, thrilling, and beloved attractions here at Hollywood Studios. Have opening on July 22nd, 1994. Over in Disneyland California Adventure, it has now become a Guardians of the Galaxy ride, but here they still keep that classic Twilight Zone theme. The tower stands at 199 feet tall, just below that 200 foot limit, so it doesn't have to have warning lights. The drops are not all the same, they are actually randomized, so each ride can be a little bit different. This building is a Pueblo Deco style, popular in the 1920s and 30s. For the drops, you're not actually just dropping because of gravity. They are actually pulling you down. In the queue and the library, you'll see a lot of authentic props from the Twilight Zone TV series. Reportedly, they actually wanted to turn this into an actual hotel. Welcome to the library, my friends. Your rooms are not quite ready yet, but do feel free to look around. Obviously, this is a dark ride, so it's going to be a bit hard to see, but my main recommendation is do not sit up against the wall. There's plenty of room if you sit in one of the middle seats. It's better to sit on the end if you can, just not against the wall. Pull the seatbelt all the way out and then slide down into it after you buckle it behind you.
are about to discover what lies beyond the fifth dimension, beyond the deepest, darkest corner of the imagination, in the Tower of Terror. Clearly, it passes the fat test and it has a great gift store at the end of it. What's your favorite ride at Hollywood Studios? Make sure to leave a comment and follow along if you want more plus size travel. But as you can see, it started pouring down rain. So what do we do? Well, it's not by a poncho. We find solutions.